welcome to Read Around the World with Stacy. Today we're going to read How to Catch a Witch, written by Alice Walstead and Megan Joyce. Well friends, I've made some fun crafts to go along with this book. If you click on the description box below, all the information's there. Well friends, before we start, don't forget to click that subscribe button. How to Catch a Witch we happily dressed in our costumes with care, getting ready for trick-or-treat night. What we yet didn't know was who else had a plan for Halloween mischief to give us a fright. The pumpkins were carved and lit from within as we walked in the crisp autumn air. We started to notice ghosts, schools, and goblins popping up over here, there, and everywhere. But there aren't enough kids living in our town to account for this many creatures. Some of these beings just might be real. Take a look at all their weird features. Up very high was a witch in the sky. On her broom, she had invites to carry. With a wave of her wand, the music began. When dancing, the ghosts looked less scary. Time to floss, bump, and boogie. Free broom rebristling, stop here. We figured out that the witch brought the creatures, so we set traps for a Halloween prize. We have to catch her to send all the ghouls back. It won't be easy cause this witch is wise. Beyond catching the witch, there's candy to get. Chocolates and sweets big and small. If the tricks, treats and traps all fall in line this spooky night, we might have it all. Swoosh! First prize for busting best moves. She likes spiders and maybe their webs can help out. The witch could get stuck on the floor. Hang on a sec. Wait just a minute. Do we have more kids than before? This witch is clever and brought lots of friends. We need far better traps before this night ends. Zombies, dinos, ghosts, wolves and more. Monsters everywhere and one in a pool. We can't catch them all in just one night. Better trap the witch before ghouls rule my school. This is getting serious. We're running out of time. Do witches even stop for roadblocks? I'm sure, hope she falls for a tunnel of tricks. We need to return our dad's toolbox. The witch stops her boogie to come and explore, wondering what tricks are inside. She's wise to the trap and summons some help, sending a bat in first as her guide. We watch the boat to see when to start. She skipped the boat and just used her broom. Makes sense. We guess why wouldn't she fly? We had no idea that thing had such a zoom. The dance party had hit the finale at last. Each dancing monster started to cheer. There's no doubt about it, we had to admit. This witch threw the party of the year. Then just when we thought it was over, and all the goblins were with us forever, the witch opened a portal and they left in a flash. As party hostess, she's welcome whenever. 
Happy Halloween! See you next year! What a fun Halloween book. At the end, the witch just wanted to dance and have a great time. Well, friends, until next time, bye!